Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Libra. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the first two weeks in April. So April 1st through the 15th, we're just going to see what comes up. We're going to start with this deck right here. Uh, this is the deck that I have created. Um, if you are interested in purchasing this deck, uh, you can find it in the description box below, The how to get it. So what do we have for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? April 1st through the 15th. Oh, I guess we will take those. Well, that's wonderful. Hurricane season ahead. You know, I thought I'd change the, seat, the settings, but I guess not. Hurricane season ahead. Ooh. You may have a broken heart. We may have somebody that has a broken heart. We have Phoenix rising from the ashes and summertime. The heart is reversed, so they, there's some sort of heartache here. There is. Um... There is, there is going to be some turbulence, but you are going to rise above it, okay? You are going to, uh, by summertime, you're going to be over this. Well, I don't know about over it, but you're going to be above it, okay? Um, summertime is when things start to uh, get better, but I think right now you're going to be facing some sort of stormy weather, okay? I do. It, obviously there's going I don't know if you're dealing with somebody that has some heart problems you could be dealing with somebody that has some heart problems I think that or this is just broken hearted you know you may be dealing with a broken heart um, but you know one sometimes you know you have to reach a point of, of uh, extreme pain to find your strength to uh, persevere you know strength is one of our major life lessons anyway I think that by summertime you're going to be in a very very good place I think that you're going to be in a different position I think that you are going to be uh, on fire by summertime but right now I think that you're probably needing to heal over something that happens suddenly because hurricanes usually come pretty quick so something could suddenly be happening in your life um, that is changing your circumstances and, and it, it's going to affect your emotions okay because of that that heart reversed um, hmm. I feel like this is, is probably going to be a very tough situation because of that phoenix. Okay, this is something that may bring you to your knees. Okay, and I just got to be honest with you. Uh, you know, it may bring you to your knees, but when you rise, you rise uh, to the highest degree. Put it that way. Let's get a couple more of these. jackpot jackpot so you may you could be winning a jackpot this is a win it is some sort of win you, you know by summertime you you're really gonna be on fire you know if you're thinking about playing the lottery now would be the time you could also be dealing with something this month where, you know, there's some sort of, you know, hurricanes can cause disaster. So I don't know if it's a disaster or it's something that just happens that, you know, it's, it could be a loss of some sort. You know, a hurricane comes in and wipes something out and you gotta, you got to rebuild. You're obviously needing to rebuild because of this phoenix. Okay, but you, you may be re getting a payout. You could be getting inheritance. You could be getting some money. You could be getting, uh, you could be winning the lottery or you could be getting a job that really pays off. You know, whatever this loss is, there's going to be a payout that comes, comes from it.
This is a this is actually a win, okay? So it is. I mean, this is a win. You're gonna you're gonna be winning in the end. Get prepared. Something is coming, okay? Uh, and this is about strength. This is established strength. Your strength. You're gonna be. Gain, you're gonna need to find your strength. Something is gonna be left behind, and I don't think that you're prepared for it. Get prepared for it. There is. There is a storm brewing, okay? Or something is happening. Somebody could be leaving your life. You could be leaving their life. Um, <laughs> Whatever it is, there's heartbreak involved. I just, I gotta be honest with you. But this leads to a brighter future, a very a big brighter future. You will rise, you will be stronger, you will be more powerful than you were before. You definitely need to get prepared. Get prepared. There is something coming that that you you probably are not aware of yet. The devil reversed. Ten of Wands reversed. Now this is letting something go. Now there could be a, a physical collapse. This is a collapse of some sort. This is letting something go. Dropping weight. Dropping baggage. Dropping a burden. Making a conscious change. The devil is reversed as breaking free from a toxic, unhealthy situation. You are going to be broken free from something. Okay, whatever this was that you were tied to, it may have been an obsession, it may have been uh, lust, it may have been um, an addiction of some sort. The devil reversed is things getting worse for a minute, getting to the, you know, I feel like we have somebody here that is, I don't know why I want to say it, but I want to say hitting the ground. Because of that phoenix, and now with the devil, it's like there's a need to break free from this. There, uh, there could be a disaster. You know, there, there's addictions, there's toxic, there's unhealthy, there's suffering, there's a need to break free. Freedom is coming. Both of these cards are freedom. You're free. For, by summertime, you're going to realize that you are free from this. Whatever it is, there's freedom here. You're going to be broken free from something. You're dealing with somebody that is unhealthy. You're dealing with somebody that is unhealthy. That uh, I think whoever you're dealing with has addictions. They may have some, some serious addictions. Maybe it's a sex addiction or it's a drug addiction. Or it's money. It could be possessions. You know, we could have somebody that is obsessed with money. You're dealing with somebody that engages in unhealthy behavior. But a change is coming. This person is about to experience a big change. They, they may be... Uh, I don't know. Maybe they're having some sort of collapse because of that Ten of Wands reversed. Knight of Swords reverse. You are dealing with somebody that is out of control. This is like I don't know if this person has is has mental health issues. They're untrustworthy. You're dealing with an untrustworthy individual who uh, doesn't take responsibility. This is somebody who blames everybody for their problems. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, could be dealing with another air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. 
this is out of control energy. It really is. This is a runaway train. I think that we have somebody here that is extremely unhealthy for one thing. You could be dealing with a water sign as well, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I do feel like this is, there's going to, I think you're going to receive some news. I think you got somebody here that is very, very selfish, conceited, self-centered, uh, greedy. You're dealing with a very greedy individual here. This person may be money hungry. They're more focused on money. You know, they, they really, really want money. I feel as though you need to get prepared for some news and I don't I don't think it's good news. I think that you're dealing with a greedy individual who only cares about themselves. Okay? I do. Yeah, I feel like you're also dealing with somebody that has a drinking problem. I feel like we have somebody that is very insincere, selfish, Greedy. You're dealing with somebody that is very materialistic. It feels like they, they're picking a fight with you or they're, it almost feels like theft, stealing something from you. I don't know if you're dealing with a water sign that is stealing something from you. They may make you angry. You could get angry. You may end up getting angry this month. This person may use emotional blackmail as a tactic. They may cry, you know, to get their way. I because this is this is the other somebody else's position, okay? This is your position. This is somebody else's position. You're dealing with somebody that um, is very very emotional and they're insincere. Okay, you have an emotional, insincere person who is selfish that it feels like they want to have it all. You know, they want to have it all. They want to take it all. This person is toxic. They are unhealthy. And I feel like, you know, you may, you, you're, you need to get prepared for some, some fight. Okay. I think that you need to protect yourself. I think this per you're probably going to be very upset by whatever this person is doing. Um, I think there's jealousy here. I think you're dealing with somebody that is jealous of you. Um, and I think that uh, they're, this person may appear that they're loving and kind, but they're not. It's interesting because they appear to be somebody that is so sweet, but they're not. It's not real. The devil, what you see is not what you get. This is somebody that is extremely toxic. Extremely so I feel like we have we have somebody here that is very very insincere and you know uh, you need to remove yourself from this person but I don't think you can because they put on a good show you're dealing with somebody who puts on a very very good show but I think that the, you're gonna see it you're gonna see something this month about probably by summertime about this person um, Get prepared for some stormy weather. You're probably going to be playing because jackpot is a game. This is a game. You're probably going to be playing with somebody. Okay? You're going to be playing with somebody that is unhealthy. Okay? I don't know who this person is, but this person, it does not uh, have good intentions. They do not. And when I say playing, it doesn't mean that it's a sexual partner. It could be. It could be, but I don't. I don't know if that's what it is. I feel like you're dealing with somebody that is, has a victim consciousness. This person has a victim mentality, and I feel like they're taking something from you that is yours. And I feel like this is extremely selfish of them. 
I feel like um, you're probably gonna get upset. This person, this person uh, looks. They look kind. They look sweet. You know what I mean? But they're not. They're not. And I feel like what they do is is they're taking something from you that is yours. But you're going to win. You're going to win. So, I, you know, I don't know if there's news of legalities here. Um, nine of swords reversed. World card reversed. Lack of success. Lack of completion. Extreme regrets. Oh, my God. I can't believe this has happened. Somebody could be leaving suddenly without saying goodbye. There could be, there could be, you know, no closure, leaving without saying goodbye. And that could cause you a lot of stress. I do see stress. I see anxiety. I see depression. Okay, right here, right here, and right here. There's depression. And I think that, I think that you're probably going to be in your emotions this month. I do. I think that you are going to be in your emotions. I also feel like you are dealing with somebody who has a victim consciousness and you need to be aware of this person. I don't think that you can trust somebody. You're dealing with somebody that is untrustworthy that may play on your emotions. Okay? Um... You need to, you're going to be giving deep thought. This is you in the Nine of Swords reverse next to Jackpot. I think that you are going to be giving deep thought to a relationship that somebody you are, to somebody that you are dealing with. I don't know if this is a motherly type of figure. I feel like it's a female. It could be a mother, a stepmother, a sister, um, a mother-in-law. Stepmother, did I say that already? Something to do, I feel like it's a female. I feel like you're, you're going to be extremely stressed out. Um, if it's not a mother, it could be, it could, it could, it could be, it could be a masculine energy that is out of control. This person is insincere, they're toxic, they're, they're all over the place and they are in a hurry to do something. What are they in a hurry to do? Prove something. Somebody wants to prove something. They want to prove their strength. They do. They want to prove something. They want to prove that they can win. They want to win at all costs. You're dealing with somebody that wants to win at all costs. This person's not going to be successful. They're not going to be successful. And what they're trying to do is take you down. They're trying to take something that is yours. you got somebody around you that is very insincere. It's, a, it's, it's almost like they want what is yours, your money, something like that. It's like they want, they want your money, they want your job, whatever it is. They want something that is yours. And I think that it's causing you a lot of stress. It's going to cause you a lot of stress. But by summertime, I feel like you will be in a top position. You will. You'll be above this. You will be way above this. You will have won, okay? But I believe that you're going to be dealing with some turbulence right now. And this may be, this may really, really, really hurt you, okay? I feel like this is going to be like a shock to your heart. You know what I mean? This is going to be heartbreaking, Okay, I do. I feel like this is going to be heartbreaking. Like, oh my God, I can't believe this has happened. I can't believe this. You're probably going to receive some heartbreaking news. And I'm sorry. I am sorry. It, it may have something to do with, um, well, it's obviously somebody that has some sort of addictions. This person is uh, toxic. They're unhealthy. They're greedy. They're selfish. They're insincere. They're out of control. They probably have some mental health issues or they ha definitely have health issues, put it that way. And I think that they are about to, uh, go down in some way. And it's almost like they want to take you down with them. But I don't think that they're going to get away with it. I don't think that they are going to get with it, get away with it. There's no success. And this could be leaving without saying goodbye. We may have a sudden departure here. 
with that Knight of Swords reversed next to the World card. That's, that's no closure. You're dealing with somebody that does not learn from their mistakes. So yeah, I think that this month or the first two weeks, I think that you are probably going to be thinking a lot about a situation that has hurt you. And I think that it that something is going to happen very suddenly because of that hurry, hurricane season ahead. That's that's sudden. You never know what's going to happen. It just comes in and it wapes something out. Something is going to get waped out. And it's going to be heartbreaking. I'm sorry. And you may hit your knees. I want to say something to do with your father. So I don't know if it has to do with your father, but I've been I've been it's been right there the whole time. It's either a father or a mother or a business partner or a stepmother. This is flogging a dead horse, giving deep thought to a relationship. So you are going to be giving deep thought to a relationship and you need to stop staying stuck in the present. You may need to master your emotions and just break free from this situation. I do think you're going to be broken free. I do. I think you're going to be broken free from a toxic, unhealthy situation that is based on all the wrong things, okay? Greed, manipulation, uh, materialism, uh, money, uh, whatever it is. This, I feel like you're going to be broken free from something that is extremely unhealthy. And it's been weighing you down, okay? It's been. But you're gonna, you're, the weight is going to be lifted, okay? The weight is going to be lifted, but I don't think you've been able to release it for some reason. So I think that's why this hurricane is coming in. Okay, you haven't been able to release it. You're going to be flying. Okay, you're going to be free. You're going to be free. By summertime, you're going to be in a top position. But getting to that top position isn't going to be easy. So this week, there is going to be some stress. Okay? As I believe that, you know, something maybe is coming in out of nowhere. Okay, this is, this is like uh, the Knight of Swords reverse. This is a, somebody that is on a mission. This is explosive energy. This is dangerous. It's a dangerous situation. But they're going to, somebody's going to get shot down. It's like they're getting shot down, you know? They're not going to win. Anyhow, this is, uh, no success, lack of closure. This is almost like, I can't believe this has happened. But you are going to win in the end and you are going to be broken free from a situation that you have been tied to. You are. You are. Ties are going to be severed. So anyway, Libra, uh, I feel like this is a big, huge week of change you should get prepared for an arrival of some sort or a departure right here you are going to need strength a lot of it to rise from whatever this is this may take you to your knees but you will rise from it so this I, I do believe that this is going to be a 
is extremely stressful. Break. Good luck.